we we fund uh, vacations to places like Make a Wish. Um, you know, for kids in, in Orlando, teaching people English uh, uh, in Vietnam or in Cuba. There's a lot of really cool things that our people can do. And as, as we've grown, you have to have a process. And that's uh, definitely still in the, in the evolution phase. Everything always is trending towards better. But yeah, there's, there's definitely been maturity as time has passed. Do you, do you have um, staff that runs that, or is it all through volunteer, we have, internal volunteers? We, we have a foundation that's okay. dedicated to running the logistics of that, but staff and their spouses, significant others, can are eligible to participate. Giving is part of our, we have SDG Gives, and so that interview as you're onboarding happens right on the get-go of a brand new employee. Two things. One, find out what they're interested in, which is super important, just to, you know, just to, to your point, but also to show all of the things that we're engaged in from, from the thinkery, from Helping Hand Home, from, uh, to the Boys and Girls Club, giving them something to get excited about and getting outside of the, oh, okay, we go to the so-and-so luncheon every year or the so-and-so gala. Where is the true capital of generosity created it's not at those events, those are social, but it's, it's within these events where you're inspired to go out. And I mean, to some degree, you, know, you work in a competitive environment, you have to do that to push yourself as a, as a community and as a company. And you wanna know who's in your doors, right? Like, are we service-minded and are you conscious that you actually receive? It's, it's become cliche because we've all heard it said, but like you receive way more than you do when you're giving, right? But then that helps the culture of your your, your environment, your, your company to, to find the right people and then do the right things with them, right? But know that if you're serving other people that it's hard to be upset, you know, it's easier to be grateful, it's easier to kind of lend a hand when you're thinking of someone else, right? Sure. And that's just an ethos that, that hopefully all of us, starting with me, can do a better job. One of the things we, we do is we have August fundraisers and it, it, we do it every every day in August, but really one big event per week throughout August, we, kind of, we do something to help raise money, raise awareness, and it's really to, to get people excited and energized about the foundation, about giving back. And so a lot of times we have outside of the foundation, we'll have people come in and say they want to get involved. We're running a couple of Meals on Wheels things and have for the last number of years. Or someone comes in and said that one of our uh, engineers came in and said they want to do Engineers Without Borders. I don't, I'm not real big on just someone as a flyer comes in and just writing a check for something. Sure, yeah, yeah. But if there's a connection to an employee, and especially if that employee's in at some sort of personal leadership level, then the answer's almost always yes. So you've got the structure and the flexibility. Yeah.